I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. And our live game is Italy against Portugal. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. rises for the national anthem of Portugal. Italy proudly line up for their national anthem. Italy are in a 4-4-2 formation. It's the bedrock as formations go, and for such a long time, it, it places the emphasis on partnerships and combinations. Off we go then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? I'm going to go for Antonio Candreva because he brings a dynamism to proceedings, fast and direct. He'll engage his fullback in a sprint or two and he can whip in pacey crosses. Not the kind to stand off and allow him to shoot either because he can whack it with the very best. He's had a shot! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal, too, is a bonus. But this game has already taken on a real attacking edge, and, and long may that continue. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Italy didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Offside, yes, it is. Benucci Insignia, good challenge. He just stood firm, and it's Bernardo Silva. A real chance to break. He's left going for goal. Ronaldo. Superb! And they are disappearing out of sight. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. His second of the game and an eye now for the hat-trick. Portugal themselves a two-goal cushion. At 1 0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. And he's on his way! The shot's on! And more, and more, and more! And already they're looking to run away with it. 
Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball-watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. And it's Pelotti. Now it's Insigne. Portugal have it back and they can go again. He's got away. Bernardo Silva. And through to the goalkeeper. Traver. So what's he planning here? Jorginho. Coming up to half-time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. And now they can launch a counter. Cristiano Ronaldo! Goal! Unbelievable. Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Portugal are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. Portugal tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Jorginho. And it's Pelotti. Chance to break. And we've reached half time. Well, that flew by. It was breathless stuff. It's been one way traffic here after the first 45 minutes. A relentless barrage that looks set to, con to talk about during half time. And we are already promptly back on the way. So both teams emerge the same as they were before the break. Cedric Suarez. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, he really got hold of that. Well, talking about a man on a mission, that was a super effort. Oh, he really wanted that. Cristiano Ronaldo certainly tends to cast his influence, and he's in imposing mood again. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. William Carvalho gets it back. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, there was plenty on that. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. It so nearly came off for him. Cristiano Ronaldo, very nearly making something happen there. You can't keep a good man down. And it's Insigne. And a play for a throw. De Chilio. Insigne. Immobile. Cristiano Ronaldo. Out wide to the right. Charisma going through. He's had a go! And that's past the post. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? This 
some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Toshilio. It's Verratti. Could move up a gear here. He's got away. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? And it's Pelotti. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Well, they could break here. Subtle. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. There's obvious upset over that challenge. You can see the players face to face. Let's hope this doesn't escalate. Portugal have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. Yeah, their position is a, a dominant one now, Peter, so introducing one of the youngsters for some added experience is bang on. Too long, and over the line. Pepe plays it forward. Charisma. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? The final five minutes. It's a loose ball. Is it in? Oh, terrific save. underneath it <laughs> and it's Pelotti Florenzi The referee brings it to a close. Portugal were irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result, a comfortable win. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking?